Hey, 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 she just spit on me. She just, she just spat on me. Well, what did you call them earlier when you were talking to them? Didn't you call them a bunch of fucking pussies? No, I called them pussies. Yeah, I mean, these people here. No, just the ones that are wielding AR-47. So what are, you, what are you here to do today? I'm here to support people that don't indoctrinate and groom little eight-year-old kids, credulous. So why do you need to get in someone's face? I wasn't. I was walking over here to talk somewhere. I was walking over here to talk to somebody, and this one, and you had to go, get away, you can. Who do you need to talk to? I didn't, I wanted to go talk to somebody. You know your fucking business who I want to talk to? Okay, all right. I know, because I thought this was a public sidewalk. I'm being peaceful. I was just going to talk to someone. Look, I was just going to talk to someone. I gave him my five, I'm going, get off of you, you can't do it. You know, I'm sorry, this is a free time. Yeah, don't get I went to talk to a friend of mine over here, and I got five of them to me. He said, you can get over here, get off of here, you can't be here. I was trying to talk to a friend. Sir, do you support the Second Amendment? Do you support the Second Amendment? Why would you bring an AK-7 to a... I like this. I show my face. 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 I and if a house be divided against itself, that how can it stand? Isaiah 19 and 2. Modern day Egypt. Spiritually Egypt. Modern day today. Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. And his city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, for this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely. And as you've seen right there, uh, that clip, you know, credit to the brother, uh, they be bringing those edifying videos out to through, you know, to through uh, info, you know, through Adi Abba Shimei Al Shaf, that brother, you know, bringing out that edifying videos he be putting out. You know, as you've seen that uh, that clip right there, you know, that shows you, you know, as I brought out Mark 3 and 25, you know, both sides, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, you know, you're gonna have these uh, people on a uh, uh, different platform of these factions or groups, you know, on the left hand side and the right hand side, you know, they're gonna disagree with a certain things and a lot of them one other side believe this, the other side believe this, the other side think it's unright, the other side gonna think it's right. You know, so you're gonna have these two groups, you know, continue to clash it out with one another. And I brought out that Isaiah 19 and 2, because the modern day Egyptians is over here in modern day Babylon, you know. Here's these uh Idumians, you know. Just like in ancient Egypt, same thing now modern day you have to have the Egyptians against Egyptians in different kingdoms against different kingdoms cities against cities so which we're seeing as well too you're going to have people of different organization factors in different cities going against one another you know they're going to think the other thing is right and the other part is not right especially what you see in that situation down there in Texas you have the one group was armed armed with weapons I believe they had some type of protest was going on you know in the other group they say it wasn't right you know 
and the other groups, they try to protect it. So you're going to have situations like this, you know, especially in places like Portland, Oregon, over there in that region, places like Portland, Oregon, Seattle, you know, with the Antifa versus the uh, Proud Boys because you're going to have these clashes between the liberals versus the conservatives not trying to get political or nothing like that but this is actually happening you know but have that's why i brought out that mark 3 and 25 if a house be divided against itself how shall it stand you know especially when the election time comes especially in 2024 you know lord willing you know that's to be determined it's going to have tensions leading all the way up to that as well, too. But in the meantime, you know, you're going to have these uh, ongoing tensions similar to this as that video clip that you've seen. I believe there was some type about uh, uh, protecting protecting the kids and stuff, something like that from the alphabet lifestyle. Because you do have these alphabet lifestyle people teaching their uh, kids these things, you know, that get them doctrinated, brainwashed, you know, and the, and the people on the right hand side, you know, they doesn't agree with that. And then you got the uh, people on the left hand side believe it's nothing wrong with that, you know. They trying to uh, be open and everything's all equal and stuff like that. So you're going to have both sides, you know, on the left hand side and right hand side, you know, both sides is not going to agree on the same thing. That's why I brought out that scripture, a house be divided, you know, a house that's divided, how shall it stand, you know? And then I will shut the Egyptian against the Egyptian. And that's what's modern day. The Idumians are going against the other Idumians. Idumians, that's on the left-hand side of liberalism and the other on the right-hand side of conservatism, you know? We're gonna, see, we're gonna start to see that increase now more than ever, you know? And these two different organization groups, they're going to continue to clash with one another, you know. Because you see a heavy down there in Texas, heavy in uh, parts of uh, the East Coast, parts of uh, the West Coast as well, too. Especially like places like o Oregon. Because, you know, Oregon supposed to be like a liberal, you know, city, you know. But, you know, you got a lot of uh, conservatives in that region and the liberals as well too. So expect to see Antifa and the other side of the right hand side, the conservatives, the Proud Boys for an example, you know, they're gonna continue to clash it out against one another. Because uh, both sides, the left hand and the right hand side, they got different views of what they believe in, you know. One is gonna disagree with the other. One gonna think their view is right and the other group gonna think their view is right. And the other group are gonna think that person of those group of rules is, is wrong and it's not right. And then the other groups is gonna believe it's is is right, you know. So hey, that's why a house be divided how a right uh, a house that's a uh, divided house shall it stand. And hey, you're gonna see these uh tensions are gonna increase, you know. I'm gonna bring out a uh, second address. This is the book of the second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right? Because you're going to see uh, uproars of the people in the world. You're going to have these uh, different groups of different nations, of different kingdoms, of different cities, clashing it out against one another. And sometimes it might lead to uh, physical, you know. And it's going to get to that point as well, too, because you're going to start to see an increase, you know. Even though it's been cooling down, but it's going to increase. You're going to see the increase of upwards in the people. That's what you've seen over there in Iraq. Even though the tensions has come down after a two-day of violence over there in that region, after they, one of their political leaders had resigned, and then you had two different organization groups uh, hashing it out you know, violently against one another. So, hey, you're gonna have these two different groups in those same cities. That's why I say city against city and kingdom against kingdom. That's why the modern day Egyptians gets the modern day Egyptians. You're gonna start to see that increase as well too in these latter days, you know. And as
as it was mentioned, I was looking at that clip that that uh, brother brought out to through information. You know, as you see in that clip, they said uh, they had like armed, uh, like armed forces or something like that to protect the rights of uh, alphabet lifestyles, teaching their kids and, you know, having kids, having their kids, you know, having those alphabet lifestyle, dance in front of their kids and teaching them the alphabet lifestyle and stuff like that. And then you had people on the right hand side, you know, they was highly against that and they was highly upset about it, you know. So you had people on the, the left hand side try to protect that belief, say if it's all right, and then you got the other on the right hand side said, no, it's, it's not right. You know, we're not trying to have our kids to be doctrinated of that. We don't want our kids to be uh, dancing by uh, alphabet lifestyle type person. So that shows you prime, uh, continual increase of prime examples of that Mark 3rd, uh, 3 and 25, a, a nation be divided against itself, how shall it stand? And then Isaiah 9 and 2, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptian, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. A divide between the nations in person as well too, you know. And um, I'm gonna bring out Second Ezra, um, fifteen, verse fifteen. And as you've seen, you know they had some arm and arm, uh, arm Antifa with some rifles and stuff like that. Even on uh, people on the right hand side, they do the same thing as well too. You know, I guess Antifa trying to up, up their anti of protection. <laughs> so, um, let me go to verse 15 in Second Ezra. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up against another, and with swords in their hands, right? Because the modern day sword is the gun. Just like in ancient times, they battle out with swords. Now in modern day times, it's the uh, sword is the modern day weapon today, you know? Hey, it's gonna be times when these nations clashing it out, uh, clashing out with one another. Hey, it's gonna be swords as well too. And as much as uh, the modern day sword is the weapon, you know? And verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power right you're gonna have these or organization factors group not only are they going to be going against uh, one another of uh, city against city uh, kingdom against kingdom nations against nations you know hey they're gonna be going against their uh, leaders that's in power as well too they're gonna highly oppose certain laws that the uh that their leaders that's in power and you know the citizens they're gonna highly oppose it and they gonna be in the uproar with it you're gonna see that increase in the latter days as well too and this is the book of uh i'm gonna continue on down second Ezra, chapter 15 verse 17 and they shall the, they shall desire to go in a city and not be able right because when these uh, martial law kicks in, hey, when these more of these lockdown kicks, if the cases are starting to go out, well, because you know Esau Edom, you know he liked to do this order out of KO, you know, especially when these uh, latest incidents had happened over there in Oregon, I believe it was it was a I um he had an AR-15, he shot like two or three people, and he went inside a mar uh, market. A safe, a safeguard market, Safeway Market, I believe, over there in Oregon. Uh, killed like two people and uh, killed himself on on the scene, you know. So, a, you know, Esau Eden. Sometimes he he not he uh, orchestrate these uh, order out of chaos and these uh, false flag events as well too, you know. So, a, you know, people gonna be in the uproar of their weapons being taken confiscated you're gonna see that increase as well too so that's why you're gonna have these uh citizens these armed rifle citizens you know they're gonna be in the uproar 
of the of a weapons being taken away from them, you know, as they uh, ban AR-15 weapons, ban uh, the stockpile weapons of it as well too. Say, hey, you're gonna see the uproar of that as well too, of these nations going against their political leaders and figures that's in power. You know, you're gonna see that increase as well too. In verse 18, Second Ezra 15, verse 18. For because of their pride, and the city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right? Hey, you're gonna see that increase as well too. You know, the cities are gonna be in trouble. Hey, it's gonna be full out chaos in that day, and we are definitely approaching in those times. You know, and Second Ezra 15, in verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but they shall destroy their houses with the sword. Right, the sword is the modern day gun, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right, you're gonna see that great tribulation as well too. Hey, they they ain't they not gonna have no pity on their neighbor. Hey, it's gonna be one idumian neighbor against another neighbor. Hey, he's gonna go in his house and take his spoils and his goods, you know, because of the lack of bread, you know potential food shortages a potential of a uh, cost of everything going up the hyperinflation cost of living bills going up everything going up so yeah you know so these are prime examples of what's about to come on this planet earth but yeah go back to that mark 3 and 25 and uh, isaiah 19 and 2 you know kingdom against kingdom city against city the modern day Egyptians against the other modern day Egyptians on the left hand side and the right hand side. So, hey, these are going to increase in the latter days. Mark 3 and 25. If a house be divided, how shall it stand? You know? Uh, so, with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, verse, and mercy of a house you outside. And, uh, First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truth and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truth and sincerely. Until next time, before I close out the sit down lesson on this August the 30th, 2022, at 1.42 p.m. Central Standard Time on this um, Tuesday afternoon. So yeah, A, hey, that's sedition among men. A, hey, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, city against city, nation rising up against nations. Left hand side versus the right hand side, modern day Egyptians against the Egyptians. You know, hey, these things are gonna increase. If a house be divided, how should it stand? As Mark 3 and 25, like I mentioned. In Isaiah 19 and 2, the Egyptians, modern day Egyptians against the Egyptians. You know, what you've seen over there in Iraq is coming over here to modern day Babylon, you know. That's just a prime example for what's about to take place in modern day Babylon, you know, in these nations, you know, a divided, divided states of America. That's what that is, you know, and it's going to increase now more than ever. So with that, I would say uh, Shalom in the ball of the ball.